guys, we're back, or I'm back, with the DeVore Wild Fam, the crazy life with the DeVore Wild Fam, and we did a Costco haul, we got like four things from Sam's Club and the rest at Costco, so I'm going to be showing that to you guys today. It is a little bit loud in my house, the kids are downstairs playing, and Adam was printing some stuff out. So I'm just going to show you what I got, and then after I show you, um, my good friend Belinda from our church in California sent me and the kids a really cool cookie maker that she had in her garage that she didn't want anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox that and show that to you guys real quick. Um, most of the things we stocked up on, I want to try to keep downstairs just to be prepared with everything going on in the world right now. I wanted to make sure that we had stuff that didn't need to be cooked, that you can eat out of the can, just to be prepared. This isn't to say that you guys should all go out and do this or to be fearful, because God doesn't call, it, call us to be fearful, um, just to be prepared. So that's what I did, and some of the stuff obviously isn't for that, it will get used, um, but like, some of the things like the top ramen, I'm going to have to write on there for emergency, do not open, and just hope that my kids don't open it up, don't know if that will happen. Okay, let's get started. Oh, let me move this. These pop chips right here, they're from Costco, but uh, those are for the youth group that I teach at night, so this actually comes out of the church, the church budget. Um, I got some more toilet paper. We still have a big pack, so I didn't need much. Um, we do. There's eight people in the house, and the kids' friends, so we go through a lot of toilet paper. I got some more baby wipes. Kennedy still uses wipes. I got some bottled water. I don't normally buy bottled water, but I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it downstairs for a just in case. I got some more canned chicken, um, and I just bought some not too long ago. We've only used. Ah, Two cans of it so I've got six more here and you could eat this straight from the can if you had to we got some more cream and mushrooms so this obviously is going to be when I cook casseroles um, I only have like four cans left so I wanted to pick up some more I got this Nally is that how you say it Nally Nally original chili um, we do eat this anyways because we like to put it on like baked potatoes just for a quick dinner night I like to have these on hand some more diced tomatoes so that's from that was from all from Costco right there um, the tomato sauce is also from Costco there's 12 cans and eight cans of the diced tomatoes how many cans of chili 12 cans of chili so this is from Costco I got a huge box of chicken top ramen oh, I thought you said it was ch oh it's chicken and beef so the chickens on top and the beef flavors on the bottom we all like the oriental or the soy sauce flavor the best but I can't find it anywhere um some palm juice my husband got this for himself he loves this stuff so does my dad it was on sale or on coupon so he picked that up that's not going downstairs obviously my coffee creamer is not going downstairs that's from Costco it's, you know me and my so the reason why I drink coffee, I might as well just drink this out of the jug. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding guys. Still drinking my coffee. Um, we got some ready-made bacon. This obviously isn't going downstairs, but I do like to have this on hand, like the ready-made sausage, because sometimes the kids get tired of sausage, or you just want to flavor something with bacon, and don't always have the time to cook bacon. So this was actually on coupon. It was $12.59, I think, for this big bag of fully cooked bacon you just microwave it for like a minute um these I thought were interesting and so Kennedy is on a medicine called Quilichu it's in like uh, the stimulant family like kind of like the Adderall that I'm on and it unfortunately this usually like uh what am I trying to say stimulants can constipate you so <laughs> We tried some prune juice. She won't drink it. I even tried putting it in smoothies. She won't drink it. She loves cantaloupe like a lot. So I thought maybe I'll try some of this soft dry cantaloupe. Maybe that will help. Super fibrous. So maybe she'll like that. That was from Costco. And then this right here it was from Sam's Club. It was on coupon. 
Um, I'm thinking maybe if I put this Greens Blend Superfood in her smoothies or her juice, and for myself, for everybody, it can't hurt anybody, uh, maybe that will keep her a little bit more regular. And this would be good to have on hand too. If something happens, you can just mix it in some water and get a full servings of vegetables and, and fruits in your diet. So that was from Sam's Club. Um, I got four things of applesauce from Costco. So I thought these would be good to have. I actually I bake a lot with applesauce too, so that will get used. Then we got this Better Than Bullion Vegetable Base. Um, the, la the other day when I made the carrot and chickpea soup, I used chicken broth. I do prefer it with this. <laughs> this is like the best, the best vegetable base. You know, unless you have the time to make your own vegetable broth. This just made that soup so much more savory and delicious. So I like to have this on hand as well when they have it at Costco. They don't always. This time they did. These were on coupons, some soft and chewy granola bars. So I'll just write emergency on these and the top ramen and the water bottles. And so hopefully they won't get into them. And we still have other granola bars down there too that haven't even been open. Oh, that's what we forgot. I forgot to get another box of fig bars. Oh, well, I'll grab some at Winco next time we go. I got some bread. We were out of bread. And I never did get a chance to make bread the other day. I still need to try to make my own bread in my new mixer. Got some ancient grain cereal. Adam likes this in his lunch, so I put these in baggies. These are also a good protein source to have on hand. And it's probiotic, so that's good for your gut. Um, got some Skippy Creamy Peanut Butter. They had, if you have a Costco near you, or at least ours did, they had a huge jar of the Adam's Natural Crunchy Peanut Butter um, with nothing added to it, and it's so, so good. I did not buy it because I don't eat peanut butter enough. My kids hate the good kind. <laughs> they like the crap kind. <laughs> so I just went ahead and got the peanut butter I know is going to get eaten. Even if it's an emergency, like the added fat is not going to hurt you. So, But if you're a fan of natural peanut butters like I am, um, Costco does have it for like nine something. And it's a huge, huge jar. I would just have to get myself like a smaller one because I'm the only one. Me and Adam are the only ones that like it like that. But we'll both eat it this way. He prefers crunchy, but we still have crunchy peanut butter downstairs. Um... Tri-tip was on sale again, so he picked up some more tri-tip. Sorry, guys. I don't want to make this focus. I can't. How many pounds is this? I can't see, Adam. Five. Five pounds of tri-tip. And how much ground beef? Six and a half. Six and a half. We have the little freezer things to the vacuum seal things, so he'll portion these, freeze them up, stick them in the freezer. We needed some light bulbs, so there's the light bulbs. So all that stuff was from Costco. Hot Pockets are obviously not for emergencies. <laughs> um, this is for the kids for a quick snack after school. Watch out, Binks. And then I was completely out of broccoli. I like to keep frozen broccoli on hand. So I think that was it from Costco. And the rest we got from Sam's Club was mouthwash was on coupon. And sometimes people forget about stuff like pads or tampons, toothpaste, when you're trying to build like an emergency kit or storage um don't forget these kind of things like i picked up the band-aids last time that big pack of band-aids or like motrin or tylenol cough medicine you want to make sure that you're keeping those kinds of things on hand as well um that's what i forgot too i was gonna get a big pack of toothbrushes to keep on hand not even just for emergencies because the kids always have somebody needs a place to stay at night and they don't have a toothbrush, so we are completely out. Did you hear me, Adam? We need to get toothbrushes. <laughs> so that is a good thing to have on hand also. But that's it. That's our haul this time around. I think I got everything, looks like. Doesn't look like much, and yes, grocery prices have definitely doubled because this was almost $300. <sighs> feels, feels like a lot of money, but... Um, 
it's definitely going to be put to good use. Didn't get anything too, too junky, maybe besides my coffee creamer and top ramen. But let me know what you guys are doing if you're preparing an emergency food storage, if, you've already, if you already have one, if you're adding to it, um, maybe some ideas that you can share. I am going to get a few more things at Winco, just some more like canned fruit, like the fruit cocktail. I didn't want to get that at Sam's or Costco because it's in the little individual fruit cups and that's just too tempting for my kids to grab and eat now versus the cans that you have to open that I can safely store down there and that they would leave alone. So I will get that at Winco with the fig bars. Okay guys, I got the box open here. Oh, you can't see. I don't know how to work this camera. Um, so here's the instructions. So she wrote, Hi Becky, I hope you enjoy using this with your family. I found this on the internet and the name is different but has all the same features. I miss you. Love and hugs, Belinda. I miss you too, Belinda, so, so much. I miss everybody at my, my other church family at United Lutheran. Um, look, she put some pretty crosses on it. So I guess because the box didn't have the instructions anymore, um, she looked it up on the internet she said it's a different brand name, but same thing. So this is just the instructions for it. It's like a cookie press. So I'll show you guys. Whoops. This will be, I think, really fun. I'm going to call the kids up here to unbox it with me, but then we'll just start screaming and getting all crazy. So here's what it looks like. I have actually, I've never even heard of one of these. I didn't even know they existed. So it says, the cookie factory and dec decorating kit, easy to use battery power cookie press that makes cookie making fast and fun. Make more cookies with less effort and looks like it's got where you can make like designs, which I am horrible at. It says 10 jumbo cookie discs. I don't know if you guys can see this because I don't know how to make things focus on this camera. But this looks like it's a 39 piece set. This looks like a lot of fun. I'll just have to make a whole vlog just on us trying this out. So it says you can fill donuts, eclairs, and cream puffs, which <laughs> only donuts I've ever made are out of the can. Uh, it says you can decorate cakes, cupcakes, and other desserts. Make delicious hors d'oeuvres. Is that how you say that? Hors d'oeuvres? How do you say that word, Adam? Hors d'oeuvres. Oh, hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's laughing right now. That's okay. <laughs> Laughter is good. And finger foods. Hors d'oeuvres, not hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> I should just delete this. <laughs> you can stuff pasta and twice-baked potatoes. Ooh, I like that. I hate making twice-baked potatoes. <laughs> Just because it just takes so long. Okay, so this is a really cool. Kennedy! Come look! Let's see what Kennedy's reaction is. Come here! Come see what Belinda sent us! Or divorce. <laughs> I'm like basically wow. saying my last name. Look wow. at what look at what Belinda from our other church sent us. Here, let me get you in the shop. What's that? That's, stand over here. That's to make cookies. I want to do it myself. You want to do it yourself? Yeah. Look at all the pretty cookies we can make. I want this one. All the different patterns. Do you want to make hearts? Yeah. Make circles and spirals and flowers and pumpkins and bells. <gasps> Four leaf clovers for St. Patrick's Day. Patrick's Day and hearts. And hearts. You want to hold it up and smile? You're gonna cook them? Yeah, myself! I was trying I was ooh, what happened here? I was trying to make a thumbnail, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't working. <laughs> okay, that's it guys. Thanks again, Belinda. Um, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Sorry, I'm still learning this camera. I don't know how to work it yet. I gotta go get off here and get ready for the youth group tonight. I need to make sure my lesson is 
all done. I taught Sunday school this morning. You gonna show your Barbies? Okay. No spinning. I'm gonna make cookies. Oh, well, we're not gonna do it right now. Maybe we'll do it um, on Friday because on Friday you don't have any school, okay? All right, so. I wanna do that, I wanna do that, please. Okay, not, not today though, pretty soon. I'm gonna let you guys go. Remember, don't live in fear, just be prepared. It's always good to be prepared. And make sure you're walking with God. That's all I'm gonna say. Keep your eyes upwards. All right, chicken tendies, take care, God bless. I love all you guys, bye.